Hey everyone, it's Charles, and today we're making Filipino chicken adobo. The twist is, if you forgot to defrost your chicken overnight, let's make this meal in less than 30 minutes from frozen raw chicken all the way to a fully cooked meal for you and your loved ones ready to go tonight. Now, we can accomplish that with a pressure cooker, but if you don't have a pressure cooker, just follow me and we'll figure out how to get it done on a stove just as easy. Now, usually I would have a glass of cheap wine, but today let's be festive with a San Miguel beer. Cheers. Mmm. Now, I'm not usually a beer drinker, but this is actually pretty good. Today we're using chicken thighs, frozen chicken thighs, so I'm not gonna defrost them, I'm just gonna throw them right into the pressure cooker. And for Filipino chicken adobo, you need your soy sauce and your vinegar, and it really makes a huge difference on what kind of soy sauce and vinegar you use. Thankfully, my BFF Christine sent me these right here, this brand of soy sauce and vinegar right here, because it was really hard for me to find them where I am, so thank you so much. And you're gonna chop up a lot of garlic. So you're gonna put a lot of garlic in the chicken adobo and then we're also gonna make some garlic fried rice. So you know what that means. No kissy kissy after this meal. And then you have your black pepper and your bay leaves and then the chicken adobo is all good to go. And I have some day old cold white jasmine rice in the fridge right now. And when I'm ready to make that uh, garlic fried rice, I'm gonna pull that out and throw it in the wok and we'll be good to go with that fried rice. All right, so let's get cooking. Mm. All right, so let's get to our pressure cooker right here. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it to a saute mode right here. Turn it to a medium temperature and then press start so that we can get this going and warming up. All right, we have our pressure cooker that is warmed up right here. It would be the same thing if you had this going on on the stove, so warm it up real quick and add just a couple of teaspoons of oil into your pot or pan. And now that the oil has warmed up a little bit, let's add some garlic, some freshly chopped garlic to this right here. Boom. We're gonna add at least 10 to 12 chopped up cloves of garlic. Let the garlic saute a little bit and get it brown. Let the aroma go through. And then we can start adding everything else. All right, so we got our oil and garlic browned up just a little bit right here. So let's start adding some chicken. All right, so as you can see, I can fit six chicken thighs in here. So from here, let's add two thirds cup of soy sauce. So that's one third and now two thirds right here. And this is frozen chicken right here. And now we have two thirds of vinegar going inside. So we have our soy sauce and vinegar. I'm gonna do an even amount of each right there. A lot of people use whole peppercorns, but what I'm gonna use is some freshly ground coarse pepper right here. I'm gonna use a generous amount. And now I'm gonna use four bay leaves to add some more flavor right here. And we're almost good to go. See, it's so simple. I don't have to do anything else. Okay, so now let's go ahead and seal the lid. Boom, sealed. So now that the lid is on, let's make sure that it's on seal right here and not on vent. Let's close it at seal. Let's get to the pressure cooker and let's press pressure. Let's leave it on high and let's put the timer to 17 minutes. 17 minutes at a pressure cooker at high and let's press start. All right, so now that the chicken is in the pressure cooker, let's go ahead and multitask and make some garlic fried rice. So let's add some cooking oil, some vegetable oil. 
Let's make sure that that's at a medium to high heat so that the oil can get hot. So now with the oil, let's add some garlic. We're gonna add about 10 cloves of garlic right here. Let's get it all browned up. All right, so now that the garlic is all browned up and toasted, let's add some cold white jasmine rice to this right here. You don't wanna use freshly cooked rice because it'll get too mushy, so you wanna use some day old cooked jasmine rice. There you go, look at that. Let's add a pinch of salt to this to add to that flavor. And our garlic rice is so easy. And it is pretty much done. Boom, ready to go. All right, our 17 minutes is up. Minutes, and we're gonna release the seal and we're gonna vent it out. Let all the steam there. Out. Let's open it up. Ooh, it's hot, look at that. All right, so the chicken is actually already fully cooked and I've scooped some of the oil out because the chicken thighs, of course, have a lot of fat in it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the lid back up and we're gonna place it on broil. We're gonna put it at 10 minutes exactly. Let's press start. And this will get the skin of the chicken thighs a little crispier and we'll see it in 10 minutes. All right, so it looks like our broil is done. It's been 10 minutes. So I'm gonna turn it off and let's open it up and let's see what our chicken adobo looks like. Look at that. Oh my goodness, fully cooked. The skin looks nice and crisp. There's some good sabao or soup in there. Wow, and it smells delicious. I can't wait to get into this chicken adobo. All right, I'm ready to dig in. I'm so hungry. And let's put my San Miguel beer to the side after I take a sip. Mm. Got my garlic fried rice. Let me get a good piece of the chicken thigh right here. I'm gonna put it next to my rice. I'm gonna get some of that juice going on in the rice right here. I'm gonna get some more of this sabao or this juice or this soup and put some on the rice right here. Get some more flavor. And as you saw earlier, the chicken was fully cooked. It was good to go. I'm gonna get me some rice and some chicken all in one spoonful right here. And it's, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, and the chicken is falling apart. Wow. And the skin is crispy. There's a lot of garlicky flavor. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Am I gonna take another bite? Hell yeah. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh. My goodness, I am so full. That was delicious. Remember, follow my Instagram at charles underscore l underscore magno so you can find out all of my updates on the next videos and make sure you hit subscribe on my YouTube link and we can have some fun together. Cheers.